Hello, BookTube. If you've been watching my latest videos, or if you live in America, then you know already that this coming Monday is a federal holiday with no mail for Steve. I realize that the, that the 250 million other people in the country also don't get mail, but the important thing is, no mail for Steve. Uh, and the suggestion was made in my comments field uh, just yesterday in one of my 80 videos that, that maybe we could you could help me get through that day together. Uh, with an, another one of those Reddit-style Ask Me Anything AMA uh, videos. So I thought if there's a chance of that, that I would make this prompt video now. If you want to do that, uh, if, there's, if there's anything about me that you think you find interesting, uh, and also there are, there are six or 700 new subscribers since the last time I did any kind of Q&A, um, then leave the questions in the, in the comments field to this video, and that will help me to, to get through on Monday. <laughs> But I didn't want to just uh, just pop on and make a video solely about that. I thought I would talk about books as well. There were, so I want to make you uh, four recommendations of recent reads of mine that I think uh, that I think you might like that I found very good. Uh, and the first one is um, Logical Family by Armistead Mopan, his new his new forthcoming long-awaited memoir. This is the author of the Tales of the City books that uh, were revolutionary in their day. I, uh, it, it, young gay readers coming to those books now will think of them as quaint grandmotherly things, but and you have no idea the, the path-breaking things that they were when they first appeared. Uh, I myself think that, that, that he should have stayed away from... Uh, the Tales of the City after that first book, but money's money. Uh, I think he, he should have just written standalone books for his whole career, but they all of his books are wonderful uh, in their own way. <laughs> uh, and all along, while he was doing readings and, you know, giving talks and uh, mentoring a whole generation of, of writers, uh, this memoir was gestating about how, about how sometimes... When society doesn't make things easy for you, you have to find your own family. You have to build your own family. And that a lot of times, uh, that family ends up being more reliable and more fulfilling than your blood relatives. Uh, and I can speak from experience that that is true on two levels, not just the human level, <laughs> of course. If you're a dog person, you build your own family all the time. And, and you know the wonders that can come of it. Um, so I want to recommend um, A Logical Family by Armistead Mopin. And uh, a, another register, another emotional register, but also a fairly heartwarming thing, is the new book by Ellen Hildebrand, uh, which is called Winter Solstice. It's, I think, going to be the last novel about the Quinn family. Uh, who's, she's, she's been writing their chronicles for a few books now, and all they all gather together for Christmas. Uh, and it's a... So it's a... It's a novel that it's really good. She's a fantastic writer and a wonderful person. Talk about a dog person. Uh, and it, it, I'm not sure that this novel will work if you haven't read any of the others. So this uh, Winter Solstice really is a recommendation for Hildebrandt fans, for fans of the Quinn family novels. If you are, uh, and you didn't know that one was coming out, there's a new one, and it's really good. <laughs> uh, and then the next one is uh, we'll do some nonfiction. It's a little grim. <laughs> uh, here, it's by uh, Jeff Goodell, and it's called The Water Will Come. And it's a... It's a... Uh, a warning bell, but really not. It's it's about rising sea levels. And it doesn't waste a whole lot of time hand-wringing about why the sea levels are rising. And it also, very soberingly, doesn't waste a lot of time on what we can do about reversing that trend. The The basis of the book really is that this is the new world. Uh, Superstorms, but also rising sea levels that by the end of the 21st century will make the, the coastal topography of, the, of our time now unrecognizable. And think about coastal topography for a minute. Think about what that means. Southern California, Manhattan, Boston. <laughs> think about what that means if those places become uninhabitable. If you have to move the boundaries of those borders inland five six ten miles think about how much changes and uh, this book is about that it's it's about 
the science behind what's happening and how it's irreversible and what it's going to mean. And I, it's extremely grim reading. <laughs> if you live in a coastal area, it makes me, it makes me uh, a little bit heartsick for Iowa. Uh, but uh, no place will be immune. Uh, the, the same weather tectonics, the, the same shift that's going to cause the waters to rise is also going to cause changes all throughout the biome. So even, even you know, you, Iowa is racked by tornadoes every year. Imagine if those tornadoes were ten times as bad and last, the season lasted twice as long. It's, uh, so it's, it's a really good book, really thought-provoking, but, uh, but it's not a happy book <laughs> at all. Uh, and then the last one I want to recommend is a debut. It's YA. Uh, it's by an author named Nick Stone, and it's called Dear Martin. Uh, it's a it's a YA novel about a young black man who has his life in order. He is he's doing well in school. He has uh, friends, a loving family, a great support network. He has a future plan, uh, applying for colleges and and making something of his life. But he's black, and that gets in the way because when he encounters the white power structure, specifically in this case, in the linchpin of this case. Uh, an off-duty white police officer, he's suddenly confronted with the fact that although he can plan and and conduct his life with a lot of brains and a lot of heart, there's a power structure that surrounds him on all sides that can end it at any time, change it at any time, ruin it at any time. Uh, and it's a in that way, it's this, a strange coming-of-age novel. Uh, it's the coming-of-age novel that, that American society in the 21st century really deserves, whether it wants it or not. Um, and it's, uh, it's accomplished. I, I thought, you know, it's, it does a lot of the easy things that YA does, and it also does a lot of the, the easy things that debut novels do, so you get those two things combined. But I thought it had a lot of promise. I thought it was... Uh, there, were a couple of, there are a couple of scenes, especially towards the end of the book, that are unbelievably raw. Uh, and real, and I, so so I wish I had the ability to put pictures up there. If 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 Nathan James can do it, <laughs> I, I'll have to figure that out. But I'll leave the annotations down below. I didn't want to make the video just about talking to me, <laughs> uh, so I, I can hardly recommend Dear Martin. The title comes from the fact that the that the main character starts writing increasingly heartfelt letters to Martin Luther King Jr about, you know, what did you do? Why were you even here if things can be like this for me now? And those are good questions. <laughs> so uh, it's Dear Martin, The Water Will Come, Logical Family, and Winter Solstice. So th those are some recommendations and also a request. If you want to do an, an AMA, I'll do uh, as long a video as you want. Just uh, if you have questions, leave them down below. It's perfectly all right if you don't. We'll, I'm sure I'll find other ways to complain on, on Monday. But if you do, I thought we'd try that. So uh, those that's the two purposes of this video. Uh, and I'll wrap up for now, but I'll see you soon. Thank you, BookTube.